It's nice to be with you today, sir. Uh, today at the Church of uh, Prophet MK Tibeto is celebrating uh, God in his life, especially as regards the prophecy of the presidential election 2019 in Nigeria that gave victory to President Muhammad Buhari. It is well known across the world that uh, Prophet MK Tibeto is one of the very wonderful few prophets, if not only, in Nigeria and Africa who gave the accurate prophecy that President Buhari is coming back second time. Even in 2014, he gave the prophecy that President Buhari is going to win and discard the former president, Jonathan. You are one of those respected ministers of God in the Celestial Fold in the United States of America. Uh, we thank you for coming to this event. We want to know your name and how do you feel about the prophecy and the celebration of the coming of the prophecy? Um, first and foremost, we give glory to God. My name is Solomon Femi Ebenezer. I'm one of the founding members of this church. Wonderful, sir. Yes. And uh, while I was coming to Nigeria last Friday, precisely on the 22nd, I wanted to participate in the election. And I had it in mind that no matter how tight my schedule is, I must try and see him. Because I've read a lot about him, and I've listened a lot about him too, based on your own interview. And I'm highly impressed. Thank you, sir. So he's been a wonderful man right from the time in memorial that we met and uh, that's just spurred me to interaction to see that I meet him again. He's somebody that has predicted so many things and have come to pass. So if you have such a man in the midst of prophets, prophets in quotes now, and he still stand out. We've had so many prophecy, we've had so many predictions that is just about speculations that has no meaning speculative in nature speculative in nature they just look at the environment and dictate that okay this is how it's going to be but when god speaks to you you know who is the right prophet of god and i see prophet marcus as one of the prophet anointed by god he has never changed rather it's even improving in 1995 we were here together i knew what he said about myself i knew what he said about so many people and to the glory of God, they are realizable today. We are seeing needs and we are giving God the glory. So it's, it's been a wonderful man. So how do you feel about the celebration today? Uh, double blessing. When he saw me, he was highly elated. I came in around 9.30 and I wanted to see him, but I learned he was with somebody. So I didn't bother myself. When it was time to go into the church, I changed to my sitana to also worship with them. While he was going in, he saw my back and said, this person looks like Ebenezer. He just went in. Immediately, he got to the altar and he saw me. He said, yes, I said it. Please come over. And I was highly happy. Highly, highly happy. And to God be the glory, today I'm supposed to be one of the happiest days for me. And I'm very happy about that. On, on the last note, now, what are you going to say to people in America about Prediction 2019, the book uh, that just came out? That's why, see, out of the fullet of uh, heart, so the mouth speak it. He has given me two copies. And I'm buying these videos now, which I'm sending to my family in America for them to watch. My wife just called me now, and I told him that I'm with him. So definitely, I'm going to relay what I've seen today to my family in America, and I'm very happy about that. Welcome you to this very wonderful location. We are very aware that today the church is celebrating the victory of the prophecy of the prophet MK Tibetan concerning the Nigerian 2019 election, presidential election. The prophet is known to be one of the few, if not the only prophet in Nigeria that gave the prediction that President Muhammad Buhari is going to win the second time. And in 2014, he also gave the prediction that the president is going to discard the former president, Goodluck Jonathan. And to the glory of God, he's giving a celebration for the victory of the president today. First of all, what's your name, sir, and how do you feel about the celebration? Well, I'm Mr. Oloyede. It's a great honor that I'm here today. If I didn't plan it, I was not supposed to be here. But one thing just, my wife just, no, my daughter, and my wife, they planned it. They said, ah, daddy, will you go to Olishaw's today? I said, what? Well, no problem. I, let's go. I did not even argue. Well, I was thinking this, I went to go, I, I've been planning to give to him. I said, it's better I carry those things along. Then uh, getting here, I saw it was I wanted to come and make a uh, jazz and other jazz or call it happiness. And I have a rapport that your prediction came to Lisho again. You no, know, I've been observing the prediction by the time of Chagari pass away. He told us that Chagari is going yes. and Barry is coming in. And as he, there was a time he said, uh, when uh, Barry uh, uh, selected that Atiku and uh, 
and Saraki, they are going back to Dubai yes, to go and do another run away. They run away. So, getting here, I was surprised that, uh, and unfortunately, they stole my phone on Friday. Oh my so, Sorry, sir. after the service, and I saw him, we hugged each other, and he said, I mean, like, I want to catch him, I saw my, they stole my phone. And uh, he said he had a dream that uh, well, I, have, I had to have a ram and a, and a ship in my head that I wanted to come and meet with child, that they were running around, that my place is no one can contain them. He said he saw me that I brought, without seeing what I brought to, for the for, just looking at I said, I brought a ship and one small ram, yes, and, and, they, and they are food. He said he saw it yesterday in, the, in his dream, but he wanted to call me, but couldn't, that is my cause for you. That is, and nobody doesn't even know how I predict. The one he even said directly, I tell you, the one he said, we will say, when he's joking with you, it's more real. If he, if he respects you, honor you, he will give you a prediction by joking. He said, I said, ah, you, you that, uh, yeah. you are not going anywhere tomorrow. I, jokingly. Uh, jokingly. You are not going anywhere tomorrow. If you are very, if you are very close to him, call uh, uh, only shop. What do you mean by you are not going to anywhere tomorrow? So before you now tell you that if I go and do this and do this, so that this cops you now see, we pass over, we pass over you. And if you follow it, you will see the sign that yes, this guy really, really know what is. Are you so, calling the Nostra Demos? Uh, I don't know Nikusun, but I know this one. This one, I'm the born within. I uh, uh, we were within the same age bracket. I know him. As far as I'm concerned today, nobody has put it to me as accurate as it is. As from an MQ Tibetan. Tibetan, exactly. Nobody. That can predict and I say, yes, it's going to be like that. I will still have some doubt. <laughs> but when you say anything, just don't bother yourself again. That's the way it is. What do you say about the prediction of the book? The, the book. How do you feel about the book now? Well, it just, it just came to my hand now, now about uh, 30 minutes ago, a copy of the book, which I'm going to digest and try to follow it. The one that is prepared for January, we are now March, I'm going to treat it one after the other, to say, yeah, this one I've come to, this one I've come to, that's why I do all this uh, prediction. So that at times there are some that are guidance, general guidance for the populace. That if you can go through it, you know, if you can, this is where the area Marcos is talking about. Let's move for even your business. He predict to you that if things going to be rough, so don't worry. The next two, three months might be rough, but give yourself the next, the fourth month, they are going to be okay. And that is where it's going to be. That's thing for you. What's your message for Nigerians, especially as regard the coming in of President Muhammad Buhari? Yes. A Nigerian, a father, a grandfather, and a family man. Yeah, the, the, I, I've seen a picture personally for Buhari. I hope, I hope the devil does not make use of him. Because for somebody who has passed through thin and thick, before he now get the second ticket, he, people are pretty it no, was not Buhari, he was the one man from Sudan, he was this, he was that. The only person I now see that the man determined to work. If he's determined to do that work according to what he has in his mind, without any distraction, without him falling to prayer as Nigerian used to follow, Obama Sanjay would have got this kind of opportunity. God, God took him from grass to that grace, but he let the people convince him and confuse him. And confuse him. So that is why God is now getting see the result for it for him. But I'm sure why will not follow that step. If you go to according to his plan, I'm sure as a woman being, nobody can be hundred percent perfect. But with God guidance and have a future on what he wants to do, he will get there. Because he wants to bring back our institution. Institutions are a problem in Nigeria, not the president. I want to walk into the Ministry of Education and get what I want to get and what, get what is due for me. I want to go into the, into the judiciary and get what is due to me. Without inducing anybody? Without inducing anybody. I want to go to any area of earth, any area you can talk of. Without this, bribing? Without bribing. You go there, get, when people are not being afraid that uh, if I should go and collect money from this man, he might be very close to the presidency or to the FCC. 
So everybody goes to do their job the way it should be done. If the lawyers are doing their job, police are doing their job, then the army are doing their job, the Ministry of Education they are doing their job, the health are doing their job. What is the problem we have in Nigeria? And still want to become a billionaire. You may not become a billionaire because you have what you have, what you need in life. But children are going to school at the right time, they pass at the right time, they get job at the right time. And plans are for everybody. The only thing that we have our coming legislator to do is to have a plan whereby at every stage in life of every individual in this country, there is thing that is be expected from government. Not that we will now go, a government will come and build a house. Let them plan the stage. Like, if you cannot give us uh, what they call over by in London, we cannot give us welfare. But let them have a plan that if you are from this state to this state, if you are going to be primary school, be primary school free of charge, from this level to this level, you are going to be here, you are going to be there. And job is when you are passing, that job is there for you. Nigeria, they are very good followers. If they see the truth in you, they will follow you. That's the only thing I have for the coming president. Oh, we are very, very honored that you came for this victory service. Uh, you are very aware that today is a celebration service in honor of the prophetic. Uh, uh, validation of Prophet Marcos prophecy concerning the presidential election in Nigeria 2019 whereby he prophesied and he predicted accurately that President Muhammad Buhari is going to come back second time and we are not going to forget that in 2014 he also predicted that the president is going to win the election and discard the former president Goodluck Jonathan first of all sir, I want to know your name and how do you feel about the prophecy and the service of victory uh, thank you very much for the being international uh, my name is Abel Ojo popularly and uh, i want to be on your side because your tv or uh, your tv youtube program actually was the one that caused confusion for me i was almost beaten up you won't believe it that i have been excommunicated even from a christian union group why sir yes because i told them the gospel truth that great is the mystery of godliness when people don't believe when they don't know exactly what it takes to be a prophet, they cannot, church goers nowadays cannot differentiate between a church goer, a pastor, a teacher, and a prophet. They have forgotten that a nation that has no prophet is just walking in the darkness. And your YouTube program was actually what made me to be more interested, even in this thing. And I told some people, in fact, there was a man, an elderly man, 94 years old. The first day he saw me, he called me and told me, sir, I heard that you know Prophet TV. Uh, yes, I am MK. I said, yes, sir, that I met him on YouTube. And the way he attended to me was so fantastic. He said he would like to know him. I said, sir, don't bother yourself. You are too old. Just send me to him. I will be able to deliver your message. And sincerely speaking, the day he touched that book, the book of Revelation, he was never the same again. He was never the same again. At all. And you believe that this man studied in the UK. Mm -hmm. After 40 something years in UK, he came back to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. That want to make sure that the things he saw in UK happened at his own time. But that he has never seen a prophet such like this. Mm -hmm. I said, glory be to God. Mm -hmm. By the time I told people that they should go and watch your YouTube, especially that of December 31st. Okay, sir. My oh my. That's the night of... Uh, night, that is the crossover uh, night. Crossover night yeah. When the prophet said that God is doing a new thing in the life of prof, uh, President, President Buhari. That and that a lot of people will run away after the pre presidential election. They said, go and sit down. You have come again. You always market people. I say, I'm not a marketer. I'm saying what God said through his prophet. And if you believe the prophet, you want to obtain the prophet's reward. So that was where my problem started. By the time the election was coming up, and I took those books to some churches, they sent me away. They said, no. Somebody told me that if he wins, if Buhari wins the election, president wins the election, he's going to buy the books. Uh -uh. I laughed. I said, why not collect the book, buy it before you see? He said, no, no, it's too much. How can you say? The whole lot, say everybody is for Atiku. I said, please, remove my name, remove my vote, and remove my family. I said, I'm not articulated. I'm only following the word of God that says that this nation must be changed. And the thieves and those people that have embezzled our money, no matter how highly placed they are, they will pay for it. That was it. Too. Immediately, I sent it to my uh, members in the uh, WhatsApp group. They just they said, who is this idiot? I said, you call me an idiot? 
They say, who is this man? He's rubbish. How, he's talking nonsense. They should delete him. How did he get to our group? A Christian group that we have been since 1979. Now calling me a fool because I told them that Atiku will not win, Buhari will win. That is all. They remove my name, bam, and they block me, boom. I said, and I just sent a letter before they remove. I said, you can remove my name from your group, but you cannot remove my name from the book of life because I told you the truth and you will not obey the truth. Therefore, your sins will go after you. And I told them, I just smile. I send that uh, smile, uh, smile something. Yeah. I said, time will tell. <laughs> and they say bye bye to me. I say bye bye. So, after some time, the other group, they saw the same thing again. They were annoyed. They said, why should it be you again? A poor pastor. I said, put pastoral something apart. This is something that has to do with destiny. This man is destined to rule this nation for another four years. And whether you like it or not, Nigeria will change. They said, no, 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 no. This man cannot do it. He's weak. God is going to use his weakness to confound you and to confront you. And thank God that we have seen the truth. And this is just the beginning. If... Sharaki can be disgraced like that in Kwara. But remember one thing, he offended his father. And cause costless shall not come. And because he offended his father, his own father caused him. How do you expect somebody to pray for him and say that he's going to win? Those people that refuse to pay their tax, now they are making merchandise of us in the churches. And they are telling us that the Mbwari will not win. It's because the axe has been placed upon the root of the tree. And the tree must surely fall down. It, must fall down. it has started falling. And unless they repent and turn away from their wickedness and come back to the man of God and say, Sir, we are sorry. We didn't know it was like that. That is when their sins can be forgiven. But for them to support iniquity and to add iniquity to iniquity and to continue to live in sin and to make people harsh for the people of Nigeria, it shall never go well with them. I'm not cursing them. I'm only saying what the Bible says. Say, say unto the righteous, it shall be well with him. Exactly. And to the wicked, well, it shall not be well with him. I will thank you as a baby because you have done a nice job. In fact, I'm proud of you. Exactly. If I have a way to even take you to other places. But my prophet has said, ride on. Don't be afraid. Nothing should shake you. And you continually to rise high. Amen. It is well with you. Sir, so, yes. so, so, how do you now, what, uh, apart from uh, the, the issue of the church, yeah. What do you have to say? We've seen a lot of big pastors who came to prophesy, someone like Bishop David Edeko, saying that nobody is going to vote for a murderer, a killer. Even his assistant bishop, Abidoye, also was preaching, convincing the Christian community not to vote for President Buhari. Someone like one pastor, uh, Bodun Shea, or something like that, in South Africa, who said the president is going to die before the election, that even during the campaigning, he will die along the campaign. And people like one prime minister, Odile, that is somewhere called Henry, that has also been protesting that Saraki is going to use his glory to bless Atiku, and Atiku will win because Saraki is working with him. He initially said Saraki is going to be the president of Nigeria, but when Saraki failed in the primary, he said the glory of Saraki is going to help that of Atiku. And some other legions like Pastor jo jo Johnson Suleiman, all of them that gave all sort of fictitious prediction. You as a man of God and as a decent apostle of Jehovah Lord God, what advice do you have for them? And do you think the Christian community in Nigeria is in danger? Yeah, number one, the Christian community is the enemy of itself, beginning from the top. Especially those who call, them, call themselves men of God. But the Bible says, by their fruits, ye shall know them. Most of them, they are serving their bellies. And they are their own God. They believe so much in themselves. When you don't live a righteous life, it is impossible for you to correct somebody who is living righteously, who is living in sin. I'm sorry to say, you made mention of uh, Bishop Boyedeku. Yes, sir. I remember in 1984, 85, when we were in Kaduna, vividly, if you can remember, he sent somebody to me to join his church. And I told that brother, I said, sir, I am too small to join such a church, but I will not join because there are things that we believe that he doesn't believe. I don't want to mention some other names. So immediately you said, oh, Yedeku. You should have asked, why was he saying that? Yeah, why did he, was, was he didn't pay his tax. He has five uh, jets. Parking space, no tax, nothing. Is that a leader? No, sir. I don't think so, sir. That, that, that's, that's harmful to the economy. He's afraid because if our president comes back, he knows that he's going to pay to the last Kobo. Hmm. This is somebody, the man of God here, prophet, sent a, a, a message to him. Rather than him coming to him, Nicodemus came to Jesus in the night. Yeah. So there's nothing wrong for you to come to a prophet in the night. You may be a bishop, you may be any 
name you are called but one thing is this everybody has his own ministry yeah. if you stay on your own ministry you will not go astray yes. this is a prophet that god has given to us why not him come to him philip was with the other disciples those who came they say sir we will see Jesus, which means they could not recognize Jesus because of his humility. Mm. He was dressing like his other dis apostles. You, ca you hardly can know any difference. If you come here, you hardly know the difference between the uh, prophet and the other people, other members of the ministry. Yes, sir. That is humility. So you should be able to humble yourself and walk in a way that people will know that you have the fear of God. Mm. But many of these people, they don't have the fear of God. Mm. Number two, when you are so money conscious, there's no way you can be able to preach the true gospel. Mm. It, everything is not money. So you must have the fear of God, be able to preach the word of God. And again, the Bible says that, woe unto that prophet that says, when God have not said. Mm. So what further proofs do we need to tell people that most of these people, they are doing it, just they are doing eye service. Mm. Because they said that uh, Boko Haram, this is and that, that is why he wants to turn Nigeria into a religious yeah, Islamic, so, country. Islamic country. Is it possible? It's not possible, sir. Nigeria is so homogeneous. Nobody can try it. Yes, sir. Nobody. Not even the president. Not even the president. Because he himself, he is tired of this Islamic something. Yeah. Only because he cannot just say it out. Yes. I have every reason to believe him. Yes. So, and this is the man who wants to serve and help this nation and bring back the glory of Nigeria. Mm. People are now against him. Why? Because of their selfish interests. Yes, people who are not paying tax. Oyedeko is, not, Oyedeko is not paying. And a lot of people that have ruined the economy, they are bringing ties to his church. Mm. How can he reboot such a people? Mm. It's not possible. Mm. People should be, you know, they should be wary of such people. Mm. They should be wary because they lack the truth and they don't want to live by the truth. Mm. And by the grace of God, God will help our president. Amen, he has started well he will end well. Amen, and for sir. those soothsayers, yes, let them pray. Let them gather together. The Bible says they shall surely gather together but not on me. If they come against him in one way, they will flee in seven ways. Because say unto the righteous, it shall be well with him. Daddy, we are so very honored to have you here today as an elder statesman, as a respected uh, Nigerian. Today we are having a victory service in honor of the prophetic uh, uh, declaration of the prophet M.K. Tibeto about the Nigerian 2019 election that came to pass saying that President Buhari is going to return that God has him for a special purpose first and foremost I would like to know your name sir and how do you feel about the celebration of that prophecy in this church thank you very much for the opportunity to pass this comment I'm Dr. Shegun Relaja by name um, when I had the prediction from him I was looking forward to his fulfillment and it came to pass. I'm not surprised because I've known the prophet for at least over two decades. And uh, his predictions have always been coming to pass. So, and uh, I'm not surprised when they described, they described him as the Nostradamus of our time. Um, I've been privileged to read the predictions by Nostradamus. And I've always also been following his own predictions. So I'm happy that it came to pass. Um, it's good for Nigeria. Because Wali, the fear of Wali is the beginning of wisdom. Right now, sir. Yes. The new sheriff, sir. Yes. Because God has ordained him to put things right in this country. People believe he has spies for everything. Infinity. But this man... I mean, I started fearing him and supporting him when he went to Bayelsa and challenged anybody that if you know of any property he has anywhere in the world, apart from the one he has in Daura, name it. And nobody could come out. Which means money is not it's good. It's good. It's good. Yes. And when he was in PTF, I mean, you see what he did there. Yeah, it's wrong transport. Yes, so you can see somebody who can be trusted. And uh, I'm happy for him because, you know, some time ago, he said they were calling him Baba Goes Low. Yes, sir. Yes. Then he replied them. He said, those who ran for 16 years, where, where did they reach? Who ran fast, on the first leg. Yes. Where, where, what was their goal? Go less. Yes. Then within four years, you know, it was disturbed for the first six months or one year with all this uh, 
problems in the Bayelsa and what not. Now, and see what Saraki did at the Senate. I mean, Saraki was 100% against this government. But we thank God that at long last, the man was able to perform, at least within what is available to him. I mean, people are now going around with a train. I traveled by train last in this country, 1967. 1967, sir? I can't believe this. From Ibadan to Ido. We left Ibadan. 11 minutes after 10, we got to Ido. 10 minutes after 1. I mean, sorry, the other way. 11 minutes after, 10 minutes after 1, I got to Ido. 10 minutes after 11 at night. Since that day, I ran away from... Uh, yes. Yes, see, it's coming back gradually now. People are now going from here to there in train. It's coming back gradually. And you say, look at the result of the election. The opposition party are saying that they don't believe it. Yes. If Fine, sir. Britain has recognized the result. No, US, sir. US has recognized, China has recognized. What else do you want? What else do you want? Fear and the result was fear. It's the decision of the people. If you are beaten by almost 4 million votes, you are still saying something is wrong. I think they should go, they should go and examine that person too. I mean, we have no fear. God is on our side and the man will deliver. Give him the next four years. He will transform the country. And the people will be uh, happy for it. So, so I want to see uh, on the, the book, Prediction 2019. I, I hope you've been able to get to a straight book and to see what the prophet predicted. How will you define or describe the... Uh, the, 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 the reputation of that book, the prediction 2019 book? As I said, I'm not surprised because I've been following him over the years. I believe in prediction. I'm used to reading predictions. And uh, uh, when I saw his predictions, where, well, you know, when predictions uh, occasionally does not mean it will happen. It's a warning indirectly. A touch light. Yes. Like Ezekiah, when he said he's going to die. Yes, it's true, he's going to die. But he didn't take it. He went to his room, started crying to God. And God answered his prayer and sent back the prophet to tell him he has given him 15 more years. So a prediction is to throw light and to guide you. So if some people have been warned that they must take care of their health or else they will die, it's not that they should die. If they take precaution and take care of their health, they may not die. But if they have natural attitude to it, then they will die. So that is the purpose of this, to guide you against some things. So I will say, ah, had I known. When, is, when you make that statement, it is too late. So prevent it. So that's the purpose of prediction. But uh, on the last note, that describe Prophet M.K. Tibetan. What can you say about him as a person? Well, I would say he's a fearless speaker. Um, I can't be in his shoes, I must confess. Too challenge or too tight? Um, you know, I'm not a prophet. But you see, I think he has the he has he has been born a prophet, and prophets don't fear man. I think that's the worst is in him. There are some statements he will make. You would, as a natural human being, you will say, should he not have put it the other way? <laughs> but no, he will be blunt and say it fearlessly. I mean, that is the, um, I think the build-up of a prophet. So they don't fear man. Maybe what God has told them, they say it without any fear. They only fear who has sent them the message, not the person to deliver the message to. So it's a fearless speaker. And uh, maybe I just pray God um, continues to empower him to do more.
and maybe people will listen to him the more and uh, learn from him. I want you to comment on the Christian religion. You are a Christian. How do you feel about the Christian dom? A lot of people are now out there giving fake prophecies. Oh, the bishop saying that uh, they should not vote for President Buhari. Even one pastor Suleiman said Atiku is going to win. One uh, Prime Minister Adili also said Atiku is going to win. One pastor Bodude in South Africa said Buhari is going to die before the campaign is over. Sir, are you afraid that the Christian religion is in danger? You as an elder statesman, if a man that is very very familiar with the Bible? Well, um, the Bible says, by their fruits, we shall know them. They are only coming out in their true colors. And uh, this, what is happening now, we give the public the opportunity to sift the grains from the shaft. Most of these predictions, I read them. One even said that, Buhari will die before the elections. Buhari is still alive. A respected prophet, I mean, church leader, I saw him on television campaigning against Buhari. Even the son was on air too, campaigning against Buhari. I believe they've gone beyond their bounds. If you are a leader, a church leader, as at the last count, there are 71 presidential candidates. Yes, Most of these things will also have members in your church. And you have the courage, to, the gods, to come out and say, go and vote for... Now, you use the language that is better to vote for a thief than, to, than the killer. I mean... As long as that is still your thing, I mean, that is terrible. That is a terrible statement. I'm sure you'll be regretting that statement. <laughs> I'm sure. That's the bishop of Idepo that I'm talking about. Sir. Yes, I don't want to mention him, as I said, but I hide it in myself and I was shocked that a respected man of God, and I, I can see this thing affecting his church. Because not all the members of the church will agree with what he said. He wasn't diplomatic with it. The son too was not diplomatic about it, which I feel is bad. Uh, we are here for the victory service in your church today uh, through the victory, prophetic victory of Prophet M.K. Tibetan, the leader of uh, Celestial Church of Christ, Elisha Parish, and uh, the service has been so tremendous in honor of the victory of President Muhammad Buhari. Sir, as the shepherd of the Nanjiang Cathedral, sir, we'd like to know your name and how do you feel about this celebration? What does it mean and how did you conceive it, sir? Oh, thank you very much. My name is Mosin Evangelist Adurak Bemi, uh, one of the shepherds here in Celestial Church of Christ, Elisha Parish, under the distinguished direct directive of Prophet MKO Tibetan. And he's a man of God. I so much respect God in his life. He is a man of God indeed. Though I never knew we were cousins, not until when I got to his church. Get into his church and uh, put in more light into who I am, where I'm coming from, and my background, my biography, my profile, and even my calling. Because there are times whereby when you don't discover yourself and you find somebody that could help you out, you need to quickly grab your, your grab the person and work with the person and make sure. Yes, he God has used him to discover discover a lot of things in my calling in my in the field of my uh, professionalism mm. now he spoke through what god told him and it, ca it came to pass it is not i am not surprised because i know who he is i have been working with him for a few months and i know what god has been using him for even in this country he is not a nigerian shepherd but international uh, uh, distinguished man of God. Can you call me a global shepherd? Global shepherd. So now, on this celebration of today, believe you me, it is just so amazing because the whole world are celebrating with him. Because I have heard and I saw a lot of shep a lot of pastors, a lot of shepherd, prophets, evangelists, uh, reverends, the bishop that discouraged the prophecy which was given through him. Telling the old world that is not going to come to pass. 
Believe you me, when I went to Port Harcourt three weeks ago to deliver some of the books, I encountered some things there. In the prediction 2019? Yes. What, what did you encounter, sir, in Port Harcourt? God. What happened? It was so amazing. I went to a, a particular group of people. I met a particular group of people, which I gave the books. When they got the books, they read through the books. Ten people collected the books. After collecting the books, they now discovered that they saw the prediction about Buhari that Buhari is going to win the election. Do you know nine of them returned the books immediately? Immediately, sir. Why? Immediately, sir. Is it burning their hand? <laughs> they, they don't want Buhari and they believe that uh, how could a prophet of his kind prophesy that Buhari will come in again when great men of God have spoken that article and that was what they, uh, they embark on by supporting Buhari and uh, supporting article. So, so they, they, that banking on what those men, what those men of God said. That in the coastal men of God. Yes, that it is article. So they are all articulated. So they stick on to it, they hold on to it, they believe it because they believe those men of God. Even at Port Harcourt, there is one strong man, man of God, they re highly respected. So they believe that whatsoever he says is final. So and the man of God told them that it is article, that they should all be articulated, and that was what they believe. Not until a, uh, a lady which I met at the governor's office, at the River State Governor's office, told me that I we need to get your number to woo you when when article comes in. That she's going to woo you to their side. Yeah. That not, when article comes in, that she's going to woo me, woo my prophet, woo the visions. Who the prophecies? I said, Oh my God! I would like to give him my number because I know who God is in the life of, in the life of Prophet Marcus Stevenson. Now God have using him to speak, and he has spoken, which the word will surely come to pass. So when she said so, you know, behold, she called me out on Wednesday after the election was declared. The election was the victory was the victory was the honor of President Buhari. Yes, she called me that. Oh, please, I will need to meet your prophet. <laughs> <laughs> for if to if for him to have spoken and among all the prophets his world stood out and i said yes that reminds me of what happened in the bible to the king of jo king jo Josaphat that wants to go to war whereby a lot of prophets told him go you will win the they said go you win the but go you win. but prophet elijah said you will not you, if you go you wouldn't come back he said, no, if 400 prophets could say I should go, why will you, just single prophet, say I shouldn't go? So, which means the God of the hold is still the God manifesting it in our own dispensation. I so much respect God in his life and I am happy to be part of this great vision. Okay, under his tutelage. On time. How will you describe him? What other things do you know about him that make him very different from other shepherds? Hmm. Prophet Marcos Korodele uh, Omo Tibetan is quite a different man of God. I have been moving, I was ordained a pastor in Christ Apostolic Church in 1996 under Babajide, one of the great men of God in CAC. I was ordained at least over 20 years ago. And all through my journey in Christendom, in the ministry, before coming into Celestial Church, because my coming to Celestial Church, it is not as a result of any problem, but God said go, because I ate Celestial Church. Before now? My family, my dad, my mom, then, the then they, 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 they do, no, none of us like Celestial Church, because we assume that the church is an occultic church. Not until when God said, among you all, he's going to pick me out. He picked me out of others. They ate me. They disliked me. God, because I, I obeyed the calling to go to Celestial Church. My friends are not happy with me, but I'm happy doing the work of God today. You're happy with yourself. Believe you me. So now, for 20 years, 20 years in the ministry, I think I have moved with different men of God, and I've seen a lot. I have enough uh, experience. But among them all, none has been like Prophet Marcus Tibetan. This is a prophet that does not womanize, does not fornicate, does not run after worldly, th worldly things. God uh, blessed him to that extent of which he could, he, he blesses others. This is a man of God whereby I was amazed the very first day I came, see him feeding people, people that came for spiritual consultation. 
just because he, he want to sleep over the night, he has to feed them. That no, this ones must not go. Just the way Jesus did. He is Christ-like to us. Okay, now, the best of my knowledge, his wife came just uh, November during the church harvest and left very, I mean, during that period. Look at, for a man to be for a whole year without a woman, I think I give kudos to him. God is really with him. And he has dedicated himself completely without any little any little uh, 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 any little uh, bias or, or if, if I may say he has never allowed anything to distract him from his calling he is a prophet a prophet indeed he is the Elijah of our dispensation we are very uh, humble that you came for the service and uh, you are part of the victory service in honor of the prediction of the prophets that is concerning the Nigerian election 2019 whereby Prophet M.K. Tibetan was almost the only prophet who predicted that President Muhammad Buhari is going to come back second time. In 2014, he was only the one who also predicted that the president, though not God's choice, people's choice, will win and discard the former president, Gula Jonathan. Sir, we'd like to know your name. Then how do you feel about this celebration of the prophecy fulfillment for the presidential election? Yeah, first of all, you, Asabe Africa, you are doing a great job. <laughs> and I know that very soon the whole world will know about you. Uh, first of all, my name is Prophet. I Yodele Ashedu. I am from Delta State of this country. Yeah, it's a real privilege to be part of the celebration today because uh, the word of Prophet Marcus Tibeto has just come to pass. You see, in Nigeria there are many pastors, so much self-acclaimed prophet who prophesies that Buhari will fail. But today, only one man among them. MK Tibetan said that Buhari will pass, that Buhari will win. And it came to pass. You know, I was among the people who went around and distributed the, the, the book to some media houses. Mm. When I, I went to Gaidia, the first day I came there, Gaidia newspaper. I, newspaper, right away from the reception, when I, I presented the book, they argued with me. Mm. They said, How can it be possible that everybody is articulated? I say, But the prophet has said that uh, Buhari will win. Mm. They argued with me, but I, I, at the end of the day, I started distributing the book to so the people I came, some of the editors. Us, you know, and so when it now happened that Buhari won, I took it upon myself to wait. I went back to that again. Uh, why do you go back there again? To go, to, and, in. to go and let them know that Prophet Marco Tibeto is the greatest prophet so far now on earth. Mm. That's what I'm telling you. Even, even most of the people, even even Joshua, uh, what's called, what's called um, uh, Joshua um, of the synagogue, it's Joshua. Yeah, they all say that but I think we will win. Even Eric Paul said that we will win. But just a Suleiman too. I want Bodushe in South Africa. Say that Suleiman, uh, 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 I think we will win. Most of them. Even one Prime Minister Adili of Henry too. Prime Minister Adili said that I think we will win. Most of them, uh, Suleiman and the rest. But there's one prophet that said that Buhari is the man of the people. And that is MK Tibetan. So kudos for him. So I'm happy to be part of this uh, today's uh, victory celebration because we are celebrating vote of integrity. Yes, sir. The Bible says, by their fruit, we shall know them. No, Buhari is a man that has come to leave a legacy behind, and his legacy is speaking for him. That's why, he, even if even he wants to go tell, if you have a privilege to go come back the third time, he will still win, because he's a man of integrity. Mm. Thank man you. of integrity and destiny. Yeah, for the, sir, sir, sir uh, 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 you as a Christian, sir, and seen all these uh, numerous... Uh, what can I call it? Uh, backlogs of gaps from prophets, people who said things, people you hold in eyes, same people like Bishop Oedipo, uh, people like one Johnson Suleiman, and people like one Prime Minister Odele, and all the Christendom. So, do you have a fear that the Christendom is in danger? And what do you think is the panacea to eradicate this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Christianity itself is an opium of the people. Of the masses? Of the masses, the opium. You know, they continue telling you it is where, so that you, so that you will not ask anything from them. How can I be hungry? And when I see you, I see my bishop, my bishop is where, what is where about it? So Christianity right now is in shambles because the leadership of the organization of the Christendom, they are all liars. They are all money-making people. They are there to exploit their followers. For example, you are, you are owner of a church, you own a school, your members cannot even go to that school because it's too expensive. The people who contribute money to build that school cannot even attend the school. Is that, is that, is that not fraudulent art? Almost fraudulent. It, it's, no, it's not almost. It's fraudulent. Mm. You, you own the school. The people that contributed money to build the school, no, then their children cannot go to the school. Mm. You can imagine what they are paying 1.5 million mm. uh, a, a session. 
It's for who? It's for say the thieves. It's for the bourgeois. Yes, sir. So the Christian dominance, I assemble those big, big names we are hearing uh, in, the, in, in the Christian community, Ujilipo, this and that, the the man who is a for, they are all liars. Mm. I was once a, a Pentecostal pastor before God opened my eyes to see. The reality. the reality of life, and I and I met the, the man of God in Germany, you know. Lord Marcus. Lord Marcus, I met him in Germany, and I saw. I, when I met him, I saw a man of God. Mm. I what I saw a man of reality. Mm. I saw a man that is bestowed with the opportunity and the talent, the gift of prophecy. So, it is my advice for them to all come back to him for advice. Mm. He's now the, the highest prophet in Nigeria, whether you like it or not, because mm. others have failed. We total honor, sir. We, we thank you for. Coming here today, you are one of the most respected uh, uh, intellectuals in this country, one of the unique personality in the educational sector. You've come to celebrate the victory service of Prophet M.K. Tibetan, who happens to be one of the few, if not the only prophet in Nigeria, who gave precise prediction that President Buhari is going to win his second term among legion of other prophecies. And it came to pass. So today, there's a honor, there's a celebration to thank Jehovah God for giving that uh, spiritual insight, sir. What's your name, sir? And what can you say about the prophets and the prophecy concerning the presidential election 2019? Well, my, first and foremost, we give uh, God the glory and this, uh, to witness this uh, the uh, re election of uh, President uh, Muhammad Buhari and uh, the vice president, uh, uh, Yemi Oshibaju, for returning them to the seat of government. We really appreciate what the president has been doing and his work has actually tells much about the man what the integrity integrity is all about is uh, then to the man of god prophet uh, marcos tibetan uh, we have been together for quite some time uh, when it comes to this uh, prophecy at least uh, for the past uh, six or seven years or most Things that he has said about the country has come to pass. Uh, the past president, uh, if let me just uh, not mention uh, the, 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 the past head of state who is very, very close to this place, he cannot, he, he has been won for so many things and uh, which has come to, 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 to pass. And uh, to, the, to, to the man of God himself, uh, God is actually using him. Then uh, this is not somebody who is, uh, the old Bible say, any tebi, any tebi, lady, but he is a man called for this service. And well, so much for uh, Yes, and, um, and as a result, people, so many things which he has uh, said have come to pass. If I may just uh, mention one or two, uh, for, 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 for instance, he had predicted about uh, this, uh, so the, the, how the economy will improve in so many countries, including Nigeria, South Africa, Canada, US, Argentina, and just to mention but for but, but a few. And all this thing has come to pass. And during the time of uh, the, the, the Donald uh, Trump and the Clinton uh, election too, he predicted the same thing that uh, Trump was going to win the election. And it came to pass. So the same thing, even in, in, in that of uh, 2015 as well, he said the same thing and it came to pass. Then what else do you really want? So my, my home uh, uh, candid opinion is that uh, it is time off for us to realize who the real man of God is. Not the people who are there to cajole you or to uh, uh, who, who are there just to make money and then make uh, one or two something and then say fashion like that. We're not, not minding what the, 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 the followers, what the followers are actually, uh, whether they are languishing or whether they are enjoying anything. But as for, for, for this man, and this man is very, very caring. That is us. That's for a Marcus. The prophet Marcus. Yes. Very, very caring. He's a father to the core. He, so many uh, young uh, puppies, uh, young uh, uh, people that are passed under him. Whether you are, you, you are, whether it's his relatives, not even those who are not even relatives, are even many among the people that this man of God actually taking care of. It's not the type that he be flying all over the air, not minding whether the, 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 the followers are, are actually. Uh, uh, whether they are, they are living fine or not. No, it's, it's, it's a man of God. These are the type of people that we, we needed in this country to move the country forward. They, when we are saying that we needed the, 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 
the, the, the, the message of God, the, the, how God wants us to move. These are the, the type of people they should listen, not those quack. Those quack, those who, who, who will be saying rubbish because of a little naira or little dollar or little hero. No, 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 not those ones, but the real men, men of God. One, this is first among equal. So, so looking at the prophecy, you as an intellectual, how do you feel when you see very uh, big men of God, prominent men of God, giving prophecies that Atiku is going to win the election? Someone like Bishop David Oedipo, someone like Pastor John C. Suleiman, someone like one Primate Odile of Inri, someone like one Pastor Bodunshe in South Africa, all of them said all sorts of things. How do you feel about the Christendom? You as a very unique Christian in your own uh, regards. Um, as, a, as, a, as a matter of fact, uh, the it has been said that what is it? Many are caught, but few are chosen. And as a result, it's only those who don't know the honors who will now be running after all these men. Because it is obvious that all those ones that have just been mentioned now, they are after what they, they will be able to cut from the from all those people. From the, 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 the I mean, from the, 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 the from the politicians, okay? Because they are after what they are going to get from them. That that that, that is the 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 the, 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 the issue. And uh, for but for this man, this man, this man is God. God is just being wonderful, and he has actually manifest in him. And this is this is translated to his church members, and not only his church members, to other people as well. Whether you are a Muslim or you are a Christian, he doesn't care. But the question is, just listen to the word of God. Are you calling me a humanist? Uh, yes. He is. He is. He is. He is. Very, 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 very. I'm very, anytime you For instance, now, he's been a uh, few, few, some years now, running to 10 years that I've seen him. Like, then coming here now, he, he seems as if uh, we, are, we, just, uh, we just depart. Not quite a uh, uh, few few seconds to sh to show you how uh, uh, humbly he, he always be with people. And if you see this man moving and uh, playing with uh, the people, you are hardly can you believe that is this Prophet Marcus? So you, we are as other people who just distance from themselves from the the followers. Okay, and as a result, how do you now know their problem? How will they be able to relate with you? How will they be able? How, how will you then be able to uh, appreciate what their problem is? Then that, uh, talk less of you providing a, a solution to that uh, problem. Do your Bible people will say If you are very very distant from your people, and the same thing, this are some of them that actually reflects in some of these uh, big weeks that lost the election because once they get to the top there they forget the, the, the down throw they want and all this thing cumulated to their losses but and it didn't start it starts bit by bit by the time it piles up now and the city is what we say ah, where did we go wrong where have i got it wrong not knowing that uh, it's just a little bit of a uh, little drops of uh, uh, what i miss what a notion and that's the result of what we have just said uh, some of the things but my in the in the summary i, I just want to i uh, pray for um, uh, 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 prophet my uh, tibetan uh, marcos tibetan that uh, God will continue to strengthen him and uh, be with his household and uh, be with the, 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 the followers as well. And uh, may uh, God grant him long life to be able to, 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 to reap the fruit of his labor here and in the hereafter.